Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm bringing you guys a 79 and 4 gameplay playing some ground war domination on the map raid, and I'm using the silenced and uh, grip PDW. So uh, this gameplay is pretty impressive. Uh, this is really not what I not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the new patch that came to Xbox today on Saturday, and I think it was PS3 either. Friday or Thursday so uh, there was a lot of stuff in this patch there's a lot of unnecessary stuff like minor tweaks to like the, the functioning and stuff like that it's really not important but I want to talk about like the really big stuff the gameplay balancing stuff so I'm gonna get right into it uh, the first thing they did is they tweaked some of the score streaks they tweaked the UAV making it uh, harder to get they made it uh, from 200, uh, sorry, 350 points to 425 points to get. So now it's a bit harder to get. You'll probably see some less spam in the UAV. Some people won't be able to get it as much, and some people will just probably stop using it because it's not as easy to get. So that's pretty good. UAV spam will be cut down. I think that was a good idea for them to do. And also the lightning strike, they added a 750 millisecond delay. I think that's like uh, right when you call it in, like it doesn't exactly go in like it takes a little bit longer to be called in and get the kills so that way they make it less powerful because I know uh, if you call it in fast enough or you use it you can see them on the radar and you can easily pinpoint your strikes to get a lot of kills so I think it will make it less powerful uh, that's pretty good I didn't think the lightning strike was too overpowered but I guess they did so uh, they're making it less powerful so I guess it's alright and also some tweaks to the equipment and grenades. The bouncing Betty finally got a patch. Thank God they nerfed that. They increased the grace period between trigger and activation by 200 milliseconds. Uh, that means that it'll take longer for the bouncing Betty to actually blow up and uh, go up and blow you up. So you'll have more time to go prone and avoid it or just run past it. I know a lot of times I'll just run and dolphin dive and I'll get killed by it, but. Uh, it's good. I'm glad they're patching that. Bouncing Betty makes me so angry when I get killed by it. Uh, they're also patching the sensor grenade. They increase the range, uh, the frequency, and the amount of time the player appears after explosion. Uh, I don't think that's too much. You guys don't really care about that. It's not worth using. It's a waste of a point in your class. Uh, the concussion grenade, they fix that so now the decrease movement penalty and the turn speed penalty when hit made it less powerful I know the concussion grenades were really powerful and uh, it was really hard to get out of that and whenever you got stunned you'd most likely die because it lasts for 10 seconds now they patched that and they uh, made it less powerful now a really important thing is they nerfed some of the SMGs and they nerfed some of them more so uh, to all of them they increased the hip fire, hip fire recoil all of them, they increased the max hip fire spread from 4.75 to 5. So they uh, they definitely nerfed the hip fire on them. I guess I thought it was too powerful. And uh, they reduced the bullet penetration on all of them. I'm kind of sad that they patched these and nerfed them because uh, I really like the SMGs. But uh, here's some bad news as well. The MSMC, uh, they increased the recoil on it slightly in the PDW they increased the recoil on it slightly as well I played with them they didn't increase the recoil too much but I was using grip on them so uh, they definitely probably got affected a lot more when you're not using grip I would definitely recommend using grip on them now just because they increased the recoil on them before the recoil wasn't even that low like, I don't know why they increased them but they made them less powerful they nerfed the SMGs which was really bad I don't think they should have done it, but I guess uh, they thought they had to because a lot of people were using them. For the assault rifles, uh, they reduced the idle sway for more reliable long-range aiming. I guess that made them a little bit more powerful. Not too bad. Uh, the XM8, I'm not entirely sure what the XM8 is. That's not even a gun in the game. Uh, I don't know. But uh, with the select fire option on the semi-autos and three-round burst, they increase the recoil, so it's not as powerful as a automatic. So it's not overpowered as an automatic because I know some of those were pretty ridiculous and they didn't have any recoil so they do increase the recoil on those and uh, for the MTAR they made the auto aim values consistent with all of their assault rifles that doesn't really matter uh, sniper rifles they increase the hit fire spread thank god that was so annoying getting quick scope by quick scope by them uh, it's really annoying to just automatically get hit fired or quick scoped it was really easy for people to quick scope this will make it harder and uh, all of them with laser laser sight, they increase the hit fire spread, so it's a lot harder to no scope and quick scope. And the XPR 50, they increase the recoil slightly. 
So it's less powerful, I guess, if anyone uses that, that'll affect you. And a uh, big one is the shotguns. Uh, they only patched the R870. They nerfed this one. They reduced the one-hit kill range by 45 inches. This should not do too much, but I don't know, really know what 45 inches is in this game. But uh, they made it less strong, made it uh, do less damage, uh, lowered the range a bit. So that should affect it. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't used it much. Uh, then the last things are the pistols, the B23R and the Cap 40. They reduced the headshot multiplier from 1.4 to 1 to make it less powerful. Because I know those things were actually pretty good as secondaries and they killed pretty fast. So those will make it less powerful. And uh, that's really it, guys. They try they enabled theater mode back on the Xbox, but as you know, it still doesn't save any like it saves the games, but it saves only like one minute and like 50 seconds. Like a lot of my ground war games, they barely saved any of it. It's not the full game, so that's unfortunate. But uh, that's really it, guys, for the patch. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you want to see the all the different stuff, all the different features and improvements, I'll leave a link to it in the description below so go check that out leave a like on this video for me please final score is 78 and 4 with a pdw using uh black uh, vsat dogs and swarm and i'm signing out peace